Hey, peeps, Galusia here, and today, as promised, I'm going to show you some more Star Citizen. Now, today, I'm using uh, my friend Calpar's account, because he got a different ship than me, obviously. He got the F7C-M Super Hornet. Now, this is basically the closest thing to a military vehicle that a civilian is going to get their hands on. The Hornet is based off of a Starfighter that's used for, by the Navy. So this is like an actual, like, basically this is like a civilian version of the Navy vessel. But, I mean, civilian version is a very light term. Look at the size of those guns on the top. Like, these huge Gatling gun looking things. I mean, that's absurd. They're like bigger than my whole freaking cockpit. And then, I mean, just look at this thing. It looks like a, uh, like a jet fighter that you would see today. So we got these two guns here. There's like the intake fans in there or something. Hmm. And we got these big cannons here on the side, which look like they look like bigger versions of the cannons that I have on the bottom of my Aurora. And then those guns on the top, I mean, could they be any more menacing looking? Absolutely insane. So this is a really good example of like some serious military tech and what you can expect to see from like real high end military vessels. Uh, this cost Calipar a pretty penny. The pledge for this was no joke. It's $125 for this pledge. Uh, but you do get a pretty outstanding vehicle. And obviously a better hangar than mine, right? My hangar is not nearly as fancy looking. Mine's like a discount hangar, if you will. Can I go in here? Oh my god, the door opened. I'm in here. Does it go up? Oh, oh, oh! awesome are any of these windows clear I'd like to get like a good top view of the uh, the thing wow look at the size of the engine in the back of that too it's just this giant hole <laughs> well it doesn't look like these windows are going to be totally clear but I do get to get like an, uh, a, a good back and top view of the craft from here and then we'll go inside and check out this Hornet. So I'm really looking forward to uh, watching Calpar in action with this. So, again, the idea is that we're going to be doing long-range mercantile and that this is high-risk stuff. So a vessel like this would be used as an escort for the main vessel that's going to be carrying the goods. Oop. Open sesame. Oh, I have to call the elevator. What? Okay. There we go. But still a little bit twitchy pre-alpha, like when you turn the camera around, it's like kind of twitchy. So this will be used as an escort. And the more I look into it, the more I think that my vessel is going to be more of a, not like an escort, like a military escort, but to help out. Like I'm either going to put like a long range scanner on mine or some kind of repair module to fix the main ship if it gets damaged at all. Now can I climb up in this? Oh. Oh, the ladder came down over there. Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Pre-alpha. Whoa. Look at the inside of this thing. Get out of here. Look at the inside of this thing. This is ridiculous ridiculous this is absolutely silly ab so freaking lootly silly but you'll notice that it's just a cockpit this is again a fighter so this isn't going to necessarily be the most comfortable ship to be in for long range and stuff right it's a fighter it's probably meant to be docked into a much larger vessel that you know then you know like if calpar was flying this that he's supposed to be able to dock it into a larger vessel or whatever and then move about the cabin where it would be comfortable and he could sleep and so on and so forth because there's nowhere to do anything in here it's just this is it because it's a military vessel and it's not meant for that's why my the aurora one of its like classifications is that it's meant for exploration because it actually has a bed in it and whatnot so you can actually you know live out of the aurora for a little while and then Later on, when I show you the other ships, you'll really see how big these cab, uh, the insides of these ships can get, and how comfortable they can be. So, very fancy, but obviously not meant for like real long range stuff, because this would get uncomfortable after a while. But still, very, very cool looking. 
and we'll look we'll get another look at it again as we climb out here that is really cool looking that seat that seat was something special looking so uh big thanks to my friend calpar for letting me check this out and show off the super hornet i really want to see him blow some stuff up now i'm looking forward to december when they start actually letting us fly these things i want to see those guns in action that is very 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 silly but this is this is a really cool looking ship i don't think anyone's going to argue that point and uh i would have to say that if you were like a pirate or something like that and you were thinking about coming up on the the ship that i'm going to show you in the next episode uh that we actually have two of for our company that we're going to be using for the actual transportation of goods which already itself has many defenses on it and you see this flying next to it you may second guess it those guns on the top alone i would just be like wow those are really big guns you know what let's get the next group guys <laughs> so again big thanks to calpar and a big thanks to star citizen really looking forward to this game coming out so tune in for the next episode when i'll be looking at scales ship which uh both my friend scale and marv got the same ship the constellation which is a larger four-man vessel so we'll have the first look at a ship that's not just meant for a single person but that is meant for multiple crew and has like an actual interior with like a lot of comforts and stuff like that so we'll be able to check that out thanks again for watching and i will see you next time later Okay, so if you missed it, the first time that I looked at a Star Citizen ship was my ship, the Aurora. So I'm going to put a link in there for you to check that out in case you missed it. If you liked today's video, go ahead and do me a favor and hit the like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's your chance to do it. I got a lot more Star Citizen stuff coming up in the near future. Got some Civ Five things about to come out with again. More Minecraft. There's so many things that you're going to want to see. What better way to know? about it than to subscribe.